Avery Keenan and I'm going to be teaching you guys about the red-breasted merganser in today's episode of Birding 101. So this is a male red-breasted merganser. As you can see, he has a slim long body with a skinny bill and he has a shaggy green to black head, a white neck band, and a cinnamon colored breast. And this is the female red-breasted merganser. As you can see, she is slim and long with a skinny bill and she has brown to gray coloring. So this is a juvenile red-breasted merganser and some of you might be wondering, what is a juvenile? So in past videos, I have talked about juvenile birds and a juvenile is simply just another word for a teenage bird. So as you can see, the juvenile looks a lot like the female, but another difference is it does not have the feather tufts on the top of his head. So now we are going to listen to a red-breasted merganser call. Red-breasted mergansers are typically found in wetlands and lakes and they eat insects, crustaceans, tadpoles, and fish. And something kind of cool about them is they're one of the fastest flying birds. They can fly up to 81 miles an hour. And something also cool about them is that their legs are towards the rear, which doesn't make them great walkers, but that does make them pretty good divers. So this is a red-breasted merganser nest. Typically, you won't find these nests too far from the water since the majority of the red-breasted merganser's life is spent in lakes and ponds. They can have 3 to 24 eggs and it will take 28 to 35 days for those eggs to hatch. When the chicks are born, they leave the nest in 24 hours and they are covered in down but their eyes are open. And as you can notice, the eggs are an olive buff color. Thank you for watching today's episode of Birding 101. To see more birding videos, check out our Facebook page or our YouTube channel.